Renting versus buying, which is better for you? I'm talking about that starting right now. Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin McKegg. I'm a realtor here in Phoenix, Arizona. If you clicked on this video, that means you are considering buying versus renting, and that's what I'm talking about today. I first wanna say thank you to everyone who's reached out to me with their questions about living in Phoenix and Phoenix real estate. I'm happy to help you however I can, so give me a call, text, or email if you have any questions whatsoever. Also, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every Friday, so you might wanna do that. And also keep up to date with me on my social media channels as well. Renting versus buying. The one question you want to ask yourself when you're making this decision is how long do you plan to be in the house? This will help you decide whether renting or buying is better for you. If you're going to be in the house for a short term, maybe six months to a year, renting might be better. But if you are going to be in the home for the long term, maybe three, six, 10, even more than that, buying is probably the best option for you. Let me tell you more about that. According to an article published by Trulia, the cost of buying a home in Phoenix is 25% cheaper than renting in Phoenix. Now, of course, as I said, this depends on how long you plan to be in the house. Zillow actually offers an awesome buy versus rent calculator, and I'm gonna show that to you. On Zillow's buy versus rent calculator, you can put in the information about your comfortable home price, how much your down payment will be, and what a comfortable monthly rent amount would be. Once you factor in that information, Zillow will provide the amount of time that you need to be in a home where buying is a better option for you versus renting. All of this is based on that information you provided, so it's comparing your down payment and your monthly mortgage payment to what you would pay in rent. The big thing to remember here is that you're gaining equity and appreciation in the asset that you buy when you buy a house. When you rent, you don't have that. I've linked the Zillow calculator below so that you can check that out on your own. But I do want to talk a little bit about two things, interest rates and appreciation. First of all, interest rates make a big difference on affordability, and I've talked about this in the past in other videos. When interest rates are low, that means your monthly mortgage payment is lower. And when you can have a lower monthly mortgage payment, often that can be lower than the amount that you would be paying in rent. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're thinking about buying. Right now, interest rates are at historic lows, so that makes affordability so much higher for you when you're looking to buy a house. Now, if you take the leap to buy a house, the great thing is that you have appreciation in that asset. Appreciation is usually similar to the rate of inflation, so two to 3% a year. We're actually seeing 5% appreciation in general throughout the Phoenix area right now. So if you think about buying a house this year, next year you can assume it will appreciate close to 5%, give or take, depending on the type of house in the area in Phoenix, and you've now gained equity in an asset that you can sell in the future. So here's the big comparison. Let's say your monthly mortgage payment is similar to your rent payment. If you're making those payments anyway, wouldn't you want that payment to go towards something that is appreciating in value and you can eventually cash out on? In my opinion, it makes a lot of sense to buy, but it depends on your situation. And I definitely understand that gathering the money together to be able to put that down payment on a house can be stressful and seem out of reach to many people. But I have a solution for that too. Stay tuned for next week's video where I'll be talking about what you need in order to buy a house. And I guarantee you it's not quite as far out of reach as you might think. If you have questions about this information or want to dive deeper into your situation, give me a call, text, or email anytime. I'm happy to chat with you about your options. I hope this information was helpful for you if you're considering that buy versus rent equation in Phoenix. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Caitlin McKegg with Berkshire Hathaway.